Welcome to Let's Play UFO. I have found another half hour in my day for you, and it's more night action. This is another medium, and this is LP. This is our um, well, maybe I shouldn't be calling it the main squad anymore, but a squad from Europe. And oh yeah, since it's night, we all need those um, pesky flares. Every single one of you needs at least one. Probably should bring more of these if I'm gonna do no more night missions. It is better for the Illyrium. Aliens, aliens, aliens. I can't speak today. It's just horrible. I had this problem all damn day. I had a phone call with my mom like ten minutes ago, and she couldn't understand me either. The aliens seem to be nocturnal. They seem to be more active at night. Oh, it's a very big flare. Mm, that's a bit too much. Get rid of one grenade. Oh yeah, I should have been naming soldiers. I didn't do that in between two videos. We have new soldiers back at the base. I think I ordered like 14 or something in, in both Brazil and Europe. And I did not name them. I will get to it after this one. Don't die, don't die, you have a flare. Damn. I should have just tossed out the flare and before I did anything. There we go. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, we need more flare, so people will have to walk out wearing, uh, sorry, carrying one. You see one. Can they react if I throw it? Let's see. It's 19 time units for an auto shot. I think you can just auto shot them. Oh, then throw it. Damn it! I'm not sharp today. I'm not sharp at all. I can just do another one, but then I can't toss the flare. And you just can't fire at all. I know I'm playing with fire here. But I already had a sloppy start, so... <laughs> no line of fire. Ah, oh, that's the th thing from our Sky Ranger in the way. Good. Now, I should be able to still chuck this thing. Now, we're under the Sky Ranger's wings. I think that's affecting our angle at which we can throw. Yeah, it's nice in the corner, LP. I like it. This is probably the best landing site that you've selected so far. And it's the mission to do it, because it's at night. It's dangerous. Facing floaters in the night. Floaters in the night. Uh, yeah, more of these. We need lots of them. Alright, time to start aggressively scouting. I'm quite happy with the, the flare placement uh, in both missions. The one that I did yesterday and uh, this one. 21, 18. You cannot fire on this alien yourself. Which means it falls to Crow Mercury. It's a difficult shot amongst several trees and other junk here. Not easy at all. But uh, Pro Nubi has seen some action in his day. He'll know how to make this shot. Watch this. There you go. You can count on Pro Nubi to kill an alien when you need it. He'll flip out on you, he'll freak out, he'll tell weird stories, he screams at night sometimes, just wakes up screaming. But uh, he can make a shot. Damn it, our commander just kicked the bucket. Well, there's job openings for everybody then. And we even might have a commander on a different base this time. There we go, that's the guy I was looking for. That is the alien I want. Nicely shot in the back. Very good. Alright, I think 
think we have that little uh, corner covered, in the looks of it. Throwing a flare sitting down is something we train on. Apparently, uh, you need to train a little bit more. Ah, there's a big tree in the way, that's probably the reason. Actually, there's lots of big trees in the way, we're in a forest. Which totally makes sense. Pronobi, I think this is the one where you're gonna see a lot of action. Because you're at the front of the line and you're gonna be the first to the door from the looks of this. It might mean that you get some more scars, both internally and externally. I think by the time you're done, you're either dead or you're just walking scar tissue. Do we have two Pronubies on this mission? Yeah, two and three. Bravely next to each other. Three actually is quite brave. Both of you are very uh, weak-minded. <laughs> Damn it! All right, one exit to the UFO and one on the other side here. And there is a flare there, so I think. We should be able to see him. Yep, yeah, excellent. There he is. CK Hawk! You got a line of fire. You got all the time units you need. And let it rip. Nicely done. Is there more map here? No, it's the end. It's the end of the world as we know it. Now let's scout out this uh, bastard here. I'm, I'm kind of favoring Pro Nui today. I know that scares the shit out of you. You got your clone already. Oh, right next to you, because uh, here he is. And uh, let's have him uh, up and coming a little bit. Oh. This is dangerous. But worked. Is this the end of the map? Yeah. Both the UFO and our Sky Ranger are in a good position, I think, for this one. LP did a heck of a job setting that thing down, middle of the forest. <laughs> one more still behind the UFO. We just got grenaded. How are you doing? We laugh at puny grenades. <laughs> Let's light this place up, because we have plenty of people that can help out. CK Hawk will make this shot easily. He'll, he'll do this in his sleep. There you go. He's a good shot, isn't he? Eh, sort of. Somewhat. Mr. Payday Malone. Now we all know that the alien that chucked the grenade is this bug. Oh, there's two of them. Let's have a little fun with them. I wonder who gets the kill in such, in such a scenario. Step away. That grenade should go off. Why is that grenade not going off? Go off! No! I primed it for one turn, so that's the end of this turn, right? Ah, that is a shame. That is a shame. That is a shame. Unnecessary loss of life. Yeah, it's way too late. I thought it was the end of my turn if I primed it to zero. Well, lesson learned the hard way, I suppose. Uh, guys, help. Watch it, watch it, watch it. I don't even see who died. Was it Pro Newbie? Probably. 
that's what happens if I favor you. Yeah, sorry guys, I thought if I prime it to zero, uh, it, it it explodes immediately. We tested that, if you prime it to zero, it just explodes on impact. So you can't do that while you toss it to another guy, because it will explode in the other person's face. So I figured one would be the end of my turn, and two would be the end of their turn. It, uh, I was hoping it would work like that, I suppose. I never really tested it. But um, sadly, yeah, they could move before it exploded. They all came out and shot us. It's um, not the end of the world. I mean, we fixed uh, Chrome Mercury. Uh, we lost. Eventually, we only lost one guy, but yeah. I prefer zero guys over one guy. Oh, here's Pro Newbie, too. Oh, that's not the guy who died then. Okay. In all my anger and frustration, I did not see who died. Game is slowing down a bit again because video rendering, I think. I did a lot of recording, I did not do a lot of um, video rendering, so I can upload it. The raw footage is a bit too big to just throw on YouTube. It's like 10 megabytes per video or something. So I edited it with a little program without any quality loss, I think, but it makes it into like 700 MB chunks. That helps. Wow. Wow. That's you guys are such good. No! No, that's running out of luck. You took six shots to the face and you're just smiling at them. Holy shit. That was amazing. And there was something briefly here. I don't have a flare. There was something popping up here. Very short. Very brief. I'm not too sure. It might have been something in the UFO that just moved and we somehow saw it. I think we should wait, because they will cross this room, run out of time units. Alright, we'll move up a little bit. With uh, our brave four soldiers. Four soldiers are gonna clean this UFO. These are our four heroes of the day. It is Swarm the Third, it is Chris Blair, it is Chrome Mercury, and it's Pro Newbie 2. <laughs> nice. You are a bit damaged good, so you're probably not the best shot. Chris Blair is an expert face tanker. That's why we have him peak corners. Yeah, now this this is more usual. I don't think there's an alien here at all. Komirk is a bit dangerous to peak corners with, but uh, he does it like a boss. Swarm has the honor of being at the front. Ah, that's that's a bit shitty. I wanted you to face the other way. There we go. You guys are hunting the leader. There was an alien there briefly, wasn't there? Or was it up top? Ah. It's the exact same corner, you put the plasma rifle to the face. <laughs> Do we get two for the price of one? No, it's only one guy. There we go. Four guys. So there's always backup. This is how we do it with XCOM. Put a lot of speed into it.
there he is. All yours, Crow Mercury. And that's it. Uh, once again, four guys dead. Same as this, uh, the other mission. A hundred delirium. Beautiful stuff. I like it. Thank you, guys. New commander is Crow Mercury. Risen through the ranks like a boss. Where is he? Good soldier. Very good soldier. Five missions, seven kills. You're gonna be a commander for a while. Very clever. Yeah, naming to be done. And it's a tedious job, so I'll do that definitely off screen. Let's get the Sky Rangers back home. Is uh, Lord Stone back? Yeah. Team Brazil has made it back. Oh, you do have three science soldiers in this one. Yeah, we kind of need to. We kind of need to. It's a good squad, look at this. Good ranks. Two captains. Still don't get how the Ruza got to be captain this quickly. He's been on three missions and killed one guy. How the hell did you do that? Anyway, this uh, squad is ready to go and we have some cleanup to do. They barely made it home. And there's already more work for them. Uh, that is Lonstone. Still refueling. Well, I suppose you can make it there, right? Uh, Team Europe is back home as well and they also need to pull out immediately again. Oh no, they're not. It's the Interceptor that's back home. Now they're home. I don't think I have enough guys here, unless I want to field the science soldiers. I, I do need to do some renaming. Maybe we should just pause the video and slap this one together with a little editing. So far it's been very lazy let's play because I don't have to do any video editing. Just record and put it out. But I think it's needed at this point. I'll pause it a little bit. I'll name the guys. I'll do some sorting with uh, science soldiers and stuff and put the right guys in training. I'll see you again in a few seconds. And I'll introduce you to the new batch of soldiers and we'll start some cleanup. So, I'll see you in a sec.